Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna go ahead and make the XR100's exhaust look like brand new. Now, if you guys would know, I've had this bike for a few months now, and this exhaust is like rusty, crusty. The rest of the bike's pretty mint, but the exhaust itself is pretty smoked. So today, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna strip this thing down. I got a brand new tool I'm excited to use, and then we're gonna make it look like OEM fresh. So if you wanna do this to your exhaust, follow along, but let's go ahead and let's take a peek at this XR100 exhaust. So pretty much, we're gonna be going through this whole bike and making it look minty fresh. But today's video, we're gonna start with this exhaust and the exhaust shield and we're gonna make all of it look brand new so the very first thing we're gonna to need to do is pull off this kick panel so let's go ahead and pull it off like this with some YouTube magic okay just like that we got the side panel off now we're gonna go ahead and start by removing these two bolts up here at the top of the exhaust we got two bolts here that hold the heat shield on and then we got two more bolts up on the header so go ahead and uh, pull this exhaust off So we're just gonna wait to take this last bolt out until I get the rest of them all loosened up. So we're gonna start taking off these heat guard shields bolts first because the exhaust is stationary right now and they're easier to get at. Next, we'll go ahead and we'll crack these guys up here. I like to put the bolts back in so A, I can't lose them and B, you can't get anything inside the threads. Well, it's off. We just go ahead and stick our extra bolts back in the holes. There we go. That guy comes up just like so, boys. Alrighty, boys. So now that we got the exhaust up on the bench, let's go ahead and give you guys a closer look at this. You guys can tell what it looks like when we're done with it. So yeah, this thing is quite gnarly. Pretty gross, 20 years old. The thing could use a freshening up. And then here we have a close up shot of our heat shield, which you can see has been scratched a lot and uh, all, a lot of the paint's coming off. So we're gonna go ahead and make that look fresh too. So now I can show you guys my new tool, which is this sweet little sanding blade disc that goes onto my uh, Makita drill. So this is what we're gonna go from. We're gonna pretty much polish up. Oh, would you look at that? Just like that, the battery is uh, ready to go and let's get to her. <laughs> Just like that, that's coming right back to metal, so this will be way better to prep for some new paint, which I'll show you guys in a bit. But let's go ahead and let's blast out this whole thing and make it look like brand new with this polishing wheel first. So as you guys can see, that's kind of coming along. I will see you guys when this is freshened up. Be right back like this. So after a few quick minutes of hitting it with the polishing wheel, this thing's looking pretty fresh, pretty freshy. A couple little spots left on it, but that's okay. And uh, yeah, this thing's looking pretty friggin' sweet. So now we're gonna go ahead and let's hit up this super dirty arse looking exhaust pipe and make that thing look as good as this. She is coming together, boys. A little bit of like before and after, you can see as you look left to right, like what the difference is as we polish this back. I'm excited to see what this pipe looks like after, but it's coming out pretty friggin' good if I do say so myself. All right, now that we got our exhaust looking how we want it looking, it is nice and shinied up. Uh, we're gonna get on to the next step. So now that we got our exhaust all polished and shined up, next thing we're gonna do, and it's very, very important to do, and you can't skip on this step, before we can actually paint the exhaust, we need to make sure we properly prep the exhaust so the paint won't stick. So let's jump into that. So you can see here we got some acetone, and this is the stuff that we're gonna need to properly prep and get this exhaust ready for some paint. So we're gonna go ahead and start by applying some of this acetone onto some regs, and we're gonna go over and wipe over the whole exhaust. And then we're gonna take this, we're gonna wipe down the entirety of this exhaust until it is squeaky, squeaky clean, and no more of this black stuff comes out on your hand. You're gonna wipe, wipe this down until you have nothing showing up on your reg. And the reason we use acetone is because it evaporates and it will go away pretty much and there will be no uh, residue or any chemical left on here that would leave paint bubbling or anything along those lines. So now that we have our exhaust all prepped, 
You'd think you'd be ready to paint after rubbing with acetone, but there's one more step you can't forget. And that is prepping the paint to paint. Now, what do I mean by that? We'll check it out. First off, you need to make sure that this is high temperature paint, which as you guys can see here, it's very high temperature paint, specifically for an exhaust. Now, could I just start spraying this on this right now? Yes, I can. But what I'm gonna do to make sure that this comes out really smooth and nice and thin and not too thick to have any runs and that it comes out smooth, we're gonna go put this spray can in some hot water and let it sit there and get the paint up to temperature. And we're gonna put a heat fan and we're gonna go put the heat fan onto the exhaust and get both the exhaust and the can hot before we start painting. So let's go put this in some hot water. So as you guys can see, we now got our paint sitting in a hot glass of water and we'll let that sit before we spray it. All right, so we went and got our paint can. It's nice and hot to the touch, which is great. Now we're gonna shake this bad boy up for 10 minutes. We've been having the heat fan going on these exhaust parts here. So they've been getting warmed up. So the metal is nice and warm. The paint's nice and warm. It should stick pretty well. And then we're gonna use the flashing technique with a heat gun just to try and get it to flash quicker and dry because it is kind of rainy, wet, and cold outside. So here we have some VHT. This is like the brand of stuff I trust. It works really, really well. And this is nice and hot. So we're gonna go ahead, shake this up for 10 minutes. We're gonna stick these up on the hangers here for the garage. And uh, then we'll go ahead and we'll start painting away here. So let's get to her boys. Now we've got our pieces nice and warmed up here. Hands shaken up, it's warmed up. Products cleaned down, wiped down. This is where I like having a shield kind of in the background to be able to protect the stuff you're spraying. This way you don't get a whole bunch of excess overspray. So here's our piece like so. And now we can get to spraying with this bad boy. Oh yeah. All right, so we're gonna start far back. And this is really just going to be trying to get like a basic starting coverage on this without getting it really just like soaking wet. And like so, we got our first coat on that one. And then we're just going to go ahead, grab our heater, and we're going to just blast it with the heat to try and just quickly dry this up onto the metal. All right, and just like that, we got our very first coat on. Now we're gonna hop over to the exhaust shield and we're gonna go ahead and we'll spray down the exhaust shield as well. Same thing, I'm just gonna walk around, hit this with some of the heat, and then we'll hit it with some paint. Okay, then we'll go grab our gun with some spray and we'll hit this with the spray gun. And make sure you guys continue to shake your cans. Let's make sure you keep the paint nice and mixed up. Now let's go ahead and hit this. And then we're gonna go ahead and let's flash this and let it dry. Just like that, we got our first coat on it. And then if there's any spot of any of these exhaust pieces, I'm gonna make sure that there's extra paint on, is this section right here, because this is where your leg rubs up against the exhaust shielding. So I'm gonna make sure to do extra coats on this little section of the exhaust shield. If I got one tip for you guys as you spray, make sure you guys are wiping off the edge of your nozzle like this down in a, in a paper towel. The reason is you want to wipe it so you can see the nozzle again so that you don't have any spitter or spatter onto your stuff when you're actually painting. And you'll get something that has a result like this where it comes out really nice and smooth all the way throughout the paint. And that's why you want to heat up the stuff before you paint it because look how friggin' smooth that stuff laid. Super smooth, like butter smooth, super good. So yeah, I'm just gonna blast out the last couple coats on these bad boys, and then uh, I'll see you guys probably uh, when this is all dried up. So see you in a couple days from here, I guess. Yep, see you guys in a couple days. All right, and just like that, we're at the next day, and we got all our parts here laid out, and they came out phenomenal. They look amazing. So now it's gonna be going ahead and taking them from the bench and let's go ahead and put them on the bike because there is still one more step that we have to do before this project is done with. Just took a little bit of massaging up on those back two bolts, but that's all in. That exhaust is looking absolutely amazing. Now let's go ahead and stick the heat shield on. Now that came out looking absolutely fire. So the last couple things we gotta do, stick the kick panel on and then we can do our last step before this is all finished. Let's jump into it. Now we're just gonna throw the side panel on with some YouTube magic. 
Boom, just like that, we got the side panel on. Now there's one thing left to do. Now because we're painting the exhaust, which is something that gets really hot, this paint needs to actually be cured as if it was like baked in an oven. Now luckily for us, this is an exhaust, so we can just go ahead and start the bike up and we're gonna get it hot and get the paint set so it stays and sticks on the exhaust and doesn't wanna just flake off by overheating it the very first time around. So you wanna get it really hot, bring it back down to cool. Get it really hot, bring it back to cool. Not keeping it really hot and pegging it hot that the paint can't stay, stick, uh, and it loses its adhesiveness. So that's just what the can says to do for this exhaust paint, so we're gonna do that. Now that we got our bike running, we're gonna go ahead and just let this get heated up and let this heat and this paint actually like burn into the exhaust so that it sticks. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and let this bike warm up. And if you see smoke coming off the exhaust, that's just normal, that's just the paint actually like burning in. So don't be scared if you see smoke coming from the exhaust or a bit of a smell, which I can already smell coming off the exhaust. I can smell that like paint burning this smell. So we'll just go ahead, we're just gonna let this fully heat up and uh, yeah, that's our exhaust all done and done. Once this thing's heated up, cooled down, heated up, cooled down, we're good to go, and this thing's ready to ride. So if you guys have enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys leave a like, comment down below for more, click subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.